The co-founder of startup WeWork, Adam Newman, has accused one-time ally SoftBank of abuse of power. On Monday, he filed a lawsuit against the company and its vision fund for pulling a deal to buy $3 billion of WeWork's shares from investors. The offer was agreed to back in October, part of a nearly $10 billion rescue package after WeWork's IPO failed last year. Newman would have reaped the biggest benefit from the deal, and the offer would have given SoftBank control of WeWork. Since then, WeWork's occupancy rates have only plummeted, given stay-at-home orders around the globe. An independent special committee has also filed a lawsuit, calling SoftBank's decision to terminate the offer wrongful. SoftBank's lawyers had questioned the committee's right to represent minority shareholders, an assertion the committee rejected last month. In April, SoftBank said it would not press ahead with the tender offer because several preconditions had not been met, frustrating WeWork's minority shareholders who had been expecting a payout. The investors included Newman. Meanwhile, SoftBank's chief legal officer called Newman's claims, quote, meritless. Under the terms of the agreement, he said SoftBank had, quote, no obligation to complete the tender offer in which Newman himself wanted to sell nearly $1 billion in stock.